<laughs> well, of course, he was a great American hero. Uh, he was one of the two or three most important astronauts in the history of the U.S. space program with John Glenn and probably uh, Alan Shepard, who was the first American in space. Uh, they were among the fam most famous people in the early space program. Uh, you can see into the craft. Uh, we're standing in front of the Friendship 7. This is the actual spacecraft that John Glenn used to uh, uh, orbit the Earth on February the 20th, 1962. Well, the mission was very dramatic. I mean, for starters, you have to remember that Glenn was not actually the first American in space. There were two short suborbital flights in 1961 by Alan Shepard and uh, Gus Grissom. But the first orbital flight was the one that really equaled the Soviet achievement of orbiting uh, a man when Yuri Gagarin went up in 1961. He's a great American hero and he did become a senator from 1974 to 1999 uh, and that certainly had a lot to do with the fact of how famous he was and gave him a new position, a new place to go. Of course he also flew in space again. This is a you know a really interesting story. He went up on the space shuttle Discovery in 1998 and, and, and flew a mission uh, to investigate aging uh, and the body in weightlessness. So, so he, he got to go up again, which no other Mercury astronaut ever got to do.